record in the 4 by 15 <laughs> Oh, I don't know about that. That's a pretty staunch record. Um, but we haven't run that event in a long time, so it'll be fun to put it out there, see what happens. I um, think we got good competition, and that's what it's really going to take in those longer relays is, um, you know, Wisconsin and Virginia Tech and some of those that um, I think Virginia Tech won the DMR indoors this past year. I'm sure they're going to put a great one on the track on Saturday as well. Um, but, yeah, hope that we have a, uh, a good competitive race there. That's what it takes. And, again, in those long relays, you don't want a lot of separation and you want, you want to match up well. So, Jack, Jackson, you've kind of been teasing the guys about the record. Like mention it to him, I guess. Well, I tease our guys. Out there. I tease them about a lot of things, but one of the things is uh, always mentioning, um, the, you know, the gold standard that we talk about all the time, and that's being on our top ten all-time list in each event. And um, yeah, we just haven't run it in a while, and and uh, so I just I want to. I'll tell you, it's always great to have a benchmark, and our benchmark. Uh, the former Razorbacks and what they had accomplished over the years and the phenomenal records that they have put up. So a uh, one way that as a coach I can gauge where my team and how talented my team is is how they line up uh, with those great past athletes. And, um, you know, so we're going to see. we got some good, pretty good 1,500-meter runners. And, um, you know, that's probably when you look at um, – you know, Razorback track and field, when you look at that top 10 list, when you look at the mile, when you look at the 1500, you look at the 5K, I mean, that's, that's, that's the breadbasket of, uh, of those uh, past great programs. So if we can even, you know, break that ice and get in there and, and you know, be one of those teams that um, can be on that list, that's a pretty good accomplishment. For, for the, the, the TV window on Saturday night, all those relays, well, which ones are you most excited about? Well, I think, uh, you know, every one of them, again, we're going to get a measurement. But for, for certain, I think um, the 4 by one is going to be a hot race. I think Florida is leading the country right now. We might be ranked third or fourth in that, in that relay. So that 4 by one you got TCU and Baylor in there as well. So that that relay is going to be really hot. And so we're, we're excited about, um, you know, again, the competition. And that's what this is all about is, is uh, uh, you know, bring great competition so it elevates our guys. And, um, you know, we think our distance medley is good. I'm excited about that. Uh, we're going against the national champions, Virginia Tech. Uh, they have uh, the national runner-up in the mile. Uh, we have the third place finisher in the 3K from the indoor season. So we feel like that's going to be if we, again, if, if it all comes together on that final leg, that could be a great, a great competitive race to watch. And you can't cut out Wisconsin either because, again, they have some very good outstanding middle distance runners. Uh, four by two last year, um, broke the, at the SEC relays last year, uh, broke the stadium record, broke the Bernie Moore record down at LSU. Um, uh, I think it might have been a top three or four best time collegiately ever. Uh, and that was with Kenzo and Roy uh, and Kamar and, and Obi, uh, you know, and so, 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 so the same guys. So basically the same guys. So, um, you know, we just, I mean, that, that relay was probably one of our highlights uh, last year because that was not only uh, how fast they ran, but where they did it, you know, on the LSU, in the LSU stadium. So, uh, again, that, that relay looks good. And, again, the 4x4 four four as well. So there's going to be, a, there's going to be great relays. Um, and we think that, you know, we're going to be competitive in some of those for sure. DMR, since, Jack, since I guess Jack's on the 4x15, uh, who are you putting on the DMR? Well, that 4x15 is Friday night. Okay, so at the end of the regular track meet on Friday night, we are going to feature two relays. It's kind of a warm-up, gives uh, kids a chance to double back on Saturday uh, with those longer races, Nate. So we're going to run that 4 by 15 on Friday night. I think it's 4 by 15 in the sprint medley. And, so, and then on Saturday, uh, we'll come back. We've got you know, a good 24 hours before we come back and, and run the DMR. So... Uh, you know, and that's kind of where our emphasis is going to be. Do you know who, you're, who all you're running on that 4 by 15 um, I can probably um, pretty good guess. We have one more workout today because that I think that fourth spot is kind of still open. Uh, but certainly Jack Bruce, uh, Cameron Griffith, um, uh, Kyle Hosting uh, could possibly be on that. Uh, Ethan Main, 
uh, who just who ran well last weekend uh, in, in California. So uh, we'll decide who that fourth spot is, whether it's Kyle Hosting or Colin O'Mara or um, um, Austin Dahlquist or what have you. So we'll just see how the week goes. How big is not having uh, Alex George as far as all those kind of aspirations? Well, you know, Alex George at Easel will be on that. He's, he, had a, he ran 341 last year, which would put a, him number two on our team uh, this year. Um, I'm sure he would have been much improved. And so, yeah, I mean, the, the injury bug, there's no question, it, it's gotten to us. And that's, that was one area that, um, you know, has really been, it's been a hard, it's been a hard year that way with, with the number of kids we've had hurt. And Alex George is a big one when it comes to our, our long relays, for sure. But uh, we'll give somebody else a chance to get in there and compete, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. You've mentioned a lot of these great teams that are coming in. What do you expect the atmosphere to be like Friday and Saturday? Well, I, I just hope we have a – I hope it's a solid, good atmosphere. I hope that we get some, uh, uh, some people to come over and watch some great track and field uh, in this beautiful stadium. I think just the setting alone uh, on, a, on a Saturday night, it looked, the weather looks good. But even on Friday, too, I just think the setting alone is aesthetically pleasing. It, 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 uh, it does match. It, it, when you look at golf or you look at baseball, too, and you look at uh, Bomb Stadium, it's aesthetically pleasing to be there. It just feels good. And we think that our facility feels great, too, when it comes to track and field with, with how it's configured and, and how many seats we have and our great scoreboard at the end of the, on the north end. And, and so we just hope that we get a great atmosphere, I think, on Saturday with all the field events being done uh, and just the relays out there. All those athletes that competed the day before, all those field event people will be in the stands and hopefully rooting on their team. And, and uh, you know, we can create some energy in the building because, that, again, that's what brings in any sport. That's what brings that exceptional, um, uh, those exceptional performances come from the energy in the building. And we hope that we have good energy. This is going to be, I guess, Jack's a senior. You probably have some other seniors running their last home meet. Just kind of how do you feel about that? Maybe the contributions they've had and the fact that you know, they, they, they get to go out with a big meet at home like this. And that was one of the motivations, too, um, is, is, is to, you know, we, we host such great indoor meets, and that, that Tyson indoor facility is phenomenal. And, uh, you know, uh, we've had SEC championships. You guys have been there before. You know, you know what that is like. There's not almost a better meet than that. Um, and so that was part of the... Um, part of the thought process is in this outdoor championship is to uh, the outdoor meet is to have uh, these guys go out on their home track in top shape, not not an early season meet, but a meet when they're fit and um, they're, they're ready to go and run some significant and do some significant things. And so that's what the end of April gives us. Uh, looks like the weather now uh, is going to be good and uh, don't want to jinx myself on that. But um, it's it's awesome that Kenzo Cotton. You know, and, and Jack Bruce and Kamar Mowat are going to uh, go, go out uh, amongst a few others that are going to go out on their home track on a beautiful Saturday night and with some great competition. It can't get better. We've missed that over the last seven or eight years. Uh, it's always been somewhere else and somebody else's track. And so we're excited about that. Oregon just got that seven-year deal for the national championships yeah. outdoor. And um, how is this kind of a chance to have some more national meets in Fayetteville? Well, uh, you know, when we met last week, you know, uh, we were we were hoping that we'd get the bid for 2020, um, you know, and that didn't happen. Uh, we knew that was going to be a, a tough go. We know that Oregon is uh, building um, a huge facility um, that will um, um, be brand new, and it'll it'll you know after the World Championships continue to host NCAA championships. I tell my guys all the time, see it before it happens, and we saw this before it happened. We knew that. And we saw the writing on the wall that Oregon uh, wants to be that uh, Omaha uh, kind of place. And, um, and so that's, again, another layer of, of uh, you know, why we're having this meet, because we just feel like we've got a world-class facility and we want to we do it at a time when our kids are in great shape. So, uh, you know, disappointed we didn't get it. But you know what? Uh, that's competition. And, um, you know, they, um, it's gr in one instance, it's great for the sport because, you know, again, there, there's, there's, uh, there's people that want to have it. And, and, and so I think it's good for the sport in that, in that regard. 
Um, but obviously it, it takes us out of town on that on that critical weekend. So uh, we see it before it happens. We try to try to get another meet rolling.